My name's Matt. I'm a retired military from the Air Force, and I live in the state of Arizona. And today, Title 42 expired, which means that our border is going to be flooded with people we have no idea who the hell they are. We don't know where they're coming from. We don't know where they're going. We don't know anything about them. But they're going to flood Arizona. They're going to flood Texas. And the Biden administration doesn't give a shit. They don't care about the impact this is going to have on our economy. They don't care that all of these people... And they're, they're good people, I'm sure, but there's also some criminals and, and gang members. And there's also a lot of them that are going to be unskilled and they don't speak English. How are they going to make a living in this country? They're going to be taken advantage of. They're going to be doing the low-skill jobs. They're going to be making, getting paid under the table with less than minimum wage. And they're going to be taking a job away from an American citizen. Perhaps somebody who's in high school and needs to make some part-time money, save money for college. Perhaps it's a college student trying to get a job so that they can pay for college and better their life. But the Biden administration doesn't give a shit about American citizens. All they want to do is flood the country with illegal aliens and then push to get them citizenship. Because this is their new Democrat voters. They're losing their constituency for their old Democrat voters, the blacks and the Hispanics and Asians and people that are becoming disenchanted with the lies from the Democrat Party. Every time there's an election, they blow a bunch of sunshine up your ass. And then once they're elected, they don't do shit. So, thanks to the Biden administration, our economy is about to get even worse. What I don't understand is, this is a violation of our immigration laws. Biden is clearly breaking the law, and the Democrats, the Department of Justice, they all just sit with their thumbs up their asses and pretend, oh, I don't see anything. I don't understand. What's, there's nothing going on here. There's nothing illegal. They just allow Biden to break the law. Well, to be honest, it's not Biden. Biden's just a dementia-riddled puppet. It's the people behind the scenes that are doing this. It's the Democrats in power that hate America and want to turn us into a third world country for the UN's 2030 charter. Everything that's good about America, the Democrats says is bad. And the media, they're lapdogs. They keep putting out the same lies over and over again. They tell people the country is systemically racist. Oh, the cops are just out there waiting to kill black people and, his, and brown people. It's not true. We know it's not true, but the people that watch MSNBC and CNN and NBC and, and all of the other media that they get on their smartphone or whatever, they don't understand it's not true. That's what they're being told, so they think it is true. They go to school. They get educated in the progressive left mantra. And then they're let loose on the world. I don't understand how our lawmakers can just sit there and allow this Biden administration to so boldly break the law and destroy this country. They're in it for themselves. Remember, folks, they work for us. 
We elected them. We pay them. They are our employees. If they do not do their job, fire their ass. I'm not saying violence. No, no violence. Uh-uh. Politically fire their ass. Get them out of office. Get people in there who actually do want to listen to your concerns. I'm a Trump supporter. I'm a DeSantis supporter. I honestly hope that if DeSantis does go for an office, that Trump finds the balls to pick DeSantis as his VP. So that in four years, or in the next election in 2028, DeSantis can run and he can have Carrie Lake as his vice president. And then eight years later, Carrie Lake can be the first female president. Although, the way things are going, it looks like we might get stuck with Kamala. <laughs> Crazy Kamala Harris, who laughs because she's so unsure of herself. This country's on the road to ruin. And the Democrats are driving the bus over the cliff. It's time to speak up. It's time to stand up. It's time to be counted. You can't sit in the back of the bus while they take us over the cliff because they're not the only ones that are going to die. You are too. Speak up. Let your voice be heard. May God bless America. May God bless you and your family. Thank you.